With great sadness, we have to report that our friend Johann Hauptblum, co-founder and longtime chairman of the board of the Norbert Elias Foundation, died on March 17, 2020. Joop was born in Bergen in North Holland, an only child who learned Latin, Greek, French and German and English in school. His writing skills opened opportunities to spend a year in post-war Britain and at Wesleyan University, Connecticut, before beginning his lifelong association with the University of Amsterdam. The 1950s were a significant decade in Joop's life. In Amsterdam, he studied social psychology, edited the Student Weekly, and in 1957, co-founded the Dutch literary magazine, Tirade. Amsterdam was a setting for his meeting with Maria Oosterrijker. They married in November 1958 and were together until her passing in 2009. As a couple, Joop and, and Maria attended many academic conferences and welcomed countless guests to their home on the Autostraat. On the morning of November 11, 1951, Joop, then a 19-year-old undergraduate student, attended a lecture by Professor A.N.J. J. Den Hollander. There, he was introduced to Norbert Elias's Über den Prozess der Zivilisation. The book made a lasting impression. And later, he met Elias in person at the 1956 ISA World Congress of Sociology in Amsterdam. Joop's doctoral thesis on nihilism and culture was supervised by Den Hollander. And in 1968, he was appointed as a full professor. He played a key role in the growth of the Amsterdam School Research Group. Joop supervised 29 doctoral theses on a diverse range of topics, all of which have the hallmarks of figurational sociology. In 2016, Joop published the first of two volumes, which told his story up until his appointment as professor. The second volume that would have covered the development of the Amsterdam School and figurational sociology, building on the work of Elias, remains incomplete. He also co-founded and was a long-time chairman of the board of the Norbert Elias Foundation before handing the torch to a new generation in 2017. Our sympathies are with his children, Frank and Clara, who have lost their father. Successive generations mourn the passing of a friend and mentor. Joop's lifetime of scholarship, his precise explanations, will continue to be an inspiration for sociologists to come.